We reported this week on satellite imagery showing a significant rise in cargo movement between North Korea and Russia. And that spike coincides with the recent effort by Pyongyang and Moscow to boost cooperation in various fields, including through that summit between leaders Kim Jong-un and Vladimir Putin. But now, a report out of the US suggests that the fears of many are already being realized, that the North has started sending weapons to Russia. According to a US official cited by CBS News, North Korea has begun transferring artillery to Russia, bolstering Vladimir Putin's forces as they continue their 20-month invasion of Ukraine. If true, we don't know if this has been going on for some time, as the US has previously claimed, or if this is part of a possible arms deal recently agreed upon by Kim and Putin. Nor is it clear what the North would be getting in return. Though, as we also recently reported, Pyongyang's ambition to launch a spy satellite this month could receive Russian support. There's also the possibility of more general support, as North Korea just held an enlarged plenary meeting of its cabinet, stressing the need to attain this year's grain output target without fail, as reported by state media Friday. Officials were said to have discussed how to seamlessly achieve the goal of grain production for this year as a key agenda item, and assessed flaws found during the process of carrying out the North's economic plan in the third quarter. But naturally, the extent of cooperation with Russia is difficult to verify. In response to a Yonhap news agency request for confirmation of this report in the US, the country's Department of Defense responded that it had nothing to add beyond past remarks from the Pentagon. But we do also have comments from Kim, who openly backed Moscow's sacred fight, insisting the Russian army and people will triumph over evil forces. Just to recap, Russia is thought to have been firing tens of thousands of artillery and rocket rounds a day and could really do with North Korea's abundance of 122 and 152 millimeter shells, plus rocket artillery munitions. As Putin also implied the possibility of military cooperation ahead of an expected visit by the Russian leader to North Korea, South Korea and the US have warned any transfer of arms between Pyongyang and Moscow would flout multiple UN Security Council resolutions, which Russia itself voted for during a very different time. Not that the global community's attitude towards Russia's war in Ukraine has stopped Putin, nor have such resolutions prevented multiple North Korean missile provocations.